Hey everyone, I'm starting this series because I've been a huge fan of the YouTube channels that really are able to document their engineering and product design process. But honestly, there are too few of them, and all I see these days are a bunch of get-rich-quick tutorials instead of the actual design stories. So I thought it would be cool to make my own and document all the stuff that goes into designing and launching a hardware product. In this series, you'll follow my journey from idea, to drawings, to mechanical prototypes, to PCB design, to coding, and even through trying to form a brand and sell in a Shopify store. So what is this idea that I think is so good that it's worth making a whole YouTube series around? Well, first, I'd like to tell you about a problem, and that problem is with my jaw. Specifically, it's called TMJ Disorder. It says online that 5-12% to of the population has this. So maybe some of you watching know what I'm talking about. But for those who don't, TMJ disorder can be a range of problems around your jaw joint that can progress from clicking to lockups to arthritis, all while coming with a whole lot of pain. In my and many other cases, this stems from muscle spasms in the area that can pull the disc that the jaw sits in out of place, over time getting worse and worse. I've talked to my doctors and physical therapist, and the best way to treat these muscle spasms is by relaxing them. Severe cases can constitute muscle relaxants or Botox, but the most basic way to relax and stimulate blood flow is through heat and massage. But what's pissing me off is that this seemingly simple combination just doesn't exist in a product that I can use to massage my jaw. Sure, I could get a heating pad, but then I can't massage at the same time. And the muscles that most impact the disorder are way deeper than heat from the pad will penetrate. Or I could get a smallish massage gun, but those never heat up. And I can't just use those ball ends because we're talking about some pretty small muscle fibers in the face that don't get massaged well by bulky massagers. Literally the closest thing to what I want is some kind of sex toy, but I haven't been able to find one that actually gets very hot. Not to mention the fact that an ideal world doesn't have me rubbing my jaw with a dildo. So what I end up doing is warming up a mug of water and using the bottom edge to massage the muscle knot while heating it. But the mug is always either too hot or too cold, so I barely get enough treatment time out of it before having to go and microwave it again. Is it really so much to ask for a pen-sized massager with a fine tip that heats up to the perfect temperature? Apparently it is, so I'm gonna make one myself. To begin, I wanna lay out what I need out of this thing. Obviously, it needs some massage. Luckily for us though, we're targeting a very small muscle area with this thing, so I don't think we need to thrust like the usual massage guns you see. We can get away with strong vibration and a small tip. Second, it needs to get hot, and I mean really hot, because we don't want this thing just dissipating heat across the skin. We need it to penetrate into muscle tissue. Since that'll be at the edge of painful, and pain is subjective, we'll for sure need some user adjustment for temperature. The third thing, and it's less of a need and more of a want, is that it needs to be water resistant. This is because I'm imagining using this with some sort of heat conducting gel or salt water. The moistness helps the heat penetrate deep tissue faster than dry heat. But I really want to stick with making a minimum viable product first. And I know waterproofing has a bunch of extra complexity that isn't totally critical. So maybe this will be saved for a V2. We also want this thing to be small. Muscle spasms can happen anywhere, and I don't want to be lugging anything around, so I'm imagining something that easily fits into a pocket. Unfortunately, these requirements are adding up to sound like we're making the least comfortable vibrator in the market, so I'll add one last requirement. It can't look sexual. The last thing is that I want this to become a product. It's always been a dream of mine to design and sell something of my own, and I'm super excited about this idea because it's something that not only solves a huge problem in my own life, but has a chance to do the same for a lot of others. Next episode, we'll actually get into designing this thing. We'll get into component selection, the industrial design, and some casing design. Peace out.